there. Hi, everybody. It's Chef Clark here. Hey, we're going to make our famous conquistador tonight. And I thought I'd show you how these are made, all right? This is probably one of my best meals. I love to eat myself. These are just great, okay? First thing is we're going to do a little bit of prep work here. You want to have some finely shredded lettuce, okay? Now, you can take your sharp, sharp knife like this one for instance and you can just do like so I'm hoping to get this on the camera okay but just shred it like this and you'll get a bunch of real fine shreds just like you get at uh, Taco Bell or wherever you know let's see how that's doing very good very nice finely shredded lettuce and this is all you gotta do just keep your knife blade close you want to make it as fine as possible, just like this, okay? Now, we're only going to be making a conquistador, so I'm going to be keeping all of my groceries at a limit here, okay? Because I'm only going to cut as much as I need for my one conquistador, all right? Uh, we're getting pretty close on the lettuce, and you can also do this head toward the center if you have to, if you get a little bit off or whatever, but uh, that's probably going to about do it for our lettuce, for our one conquistador, that's how much you want. You can also use a mandolin, sort of like this one, to do the same job. I don't know if I... I'll put the camera up just a little bit, and we'll show you what that does. See, that really makes it super fine. And that's two ways to do that. If you have a mandolin, use it. And if you do not, just use your sharp knife, like I did here. Okay, we're going to be back in a minute, and we're going to do the tomatoes and the onions. Hold on. And one thing, one more thing, what I like to do is keep all your stuff in baggies until you're ready to use it, like we got our uh, lettuce all cut up. So I'm going to put it in a baggie and a Ziploc bag just to keep it fresh and nice. We don't want brown lettuce, we just want lettuce that's wonderful, okay? So there's the lettuce for our single conquistador. We're going to put this in the refrigerator. And we're going to get out the tomatoes and the onion. Okay, we're back with the tomato. I don't like stickers on my tomatoes, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this sticker, okay? We'll give it to the dog. We'll stick it on the end of his nose, and he can run around with a sticker on his nose. No, just kidding. Okay, we're going to dice up a tomato here, a little bit of tomato. Not very much of it, just, just enough for one conquistador. I always save the end on it, because it, it dices up too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we're only going to need about half of a tomato here, so I'm going to put the rest of the tomato back away in the baggie. Wow, this one had two stickers on it. Wow, how cool is that, huh? Double stickers on that tomato. Okay, so we're going to put this one in the baggie, just like this. And we're going to dice these up. Just go about a quarter inch this away. Go the other. You know how to dice tomatoes for crying out loud. I mean, goodness, you've made it this far in life, right? And we're just going to dice this guy up too, because the end is nothing more than a bit of tomato, right? Just has a little extra rind on it, which doesn't hurt a thing. So, perfect amount for a conquistador right there. We're going to get out our little helper here while we're here. Here's my little helper to do this kind of work with. Yeah. A little spatula, care of your Dollar Tree stores. I think it's where we bought these at. We bought a bunch of these back in the household. So now we've got our lettuce, our tomato. I'm all ready to go. Okay, we're back, we're back. Okay, so what we're going to do now is, what you want to do now is, you want to take your onions and just dice them up. Uh, you 
can dice them however you want to. I can just take them. Get the pulse this way. Somebody had a fit one time because I was getting my knife too close to my guitar fingers and they were just having a fit going, oh my god, I hate to see that. But trust me, I've been in the restaurant business enough to know how to keep from cooking myself, okay? Now the puppy, he will cut me at will, but uh, all the time. I don't let him gnaw on my guitar fingers very much. I just donate the other hand. <coughs> okay, now we've got nice diced onions. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use our helper again. Let's get these guys diced up a little bit nicer than that. Come on. What the heck did you do again? <coughs> Finest dice you can get going here, and uh, that's good enough. Okay, so we got all our produce done for our conquistador. We're going to move over to the stove here next because that's the next project we have to do is the stove. So we'll run over there. See you in a minute. Okay, we're back. Hey, next thing we're going to get is our ground beef ready. What I do is I take and my, I make quarter pound patties like this, and I freeze them whenever I buy hamburger. Take one pound. Sometimes I'll get five patties out of it, depending. But uh, this last one, I got four quarter pound burgers out of it, and we're going to use this. That works perfect if you're going to make enchiladas conquistadors, a hamburger, or two meatballs to go with your spaghetti. This works for any of those. So all we're going to do is thaw it out, fry it up into taco meat, basically. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is take it out of the bag, like so. Okay. Then we are going to put it on a plate that is microwave safe, like so, okay? Then we are going to go up to the microwave oven itself, and we're going to put said plate in said microwave oven, close the door, and hit 30 seconds. And that's all it takes to thaw that out, believe it or not. Da, 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 da. Okay, we're going to take it out of the microwave now, and it should be thawed perfectly. Uh, perfectly, it should be. We'll bring it down here. Let's see. Oh my God, it's just perfectly thawed out. Look at that, would you? Huh? That's amazing. Wow. Okay, what you want to do now is go put a little bit of water in one of these. <coughs> one of these here pans like this, you know, you want to put a little bit of water in it. And then you just want to kind of break this burger up, sort of like this. You know what I'm saying. I might add a little bit more water to this. I'm not sure. Just break it up, though. We're going to make taco meat out of it. And this will kind of make it finer if you break it up in the water for you cook it. Yeah, we're going to add just a little bit more water to this. So you stay right there. <clears throat> okay. And right you down. Let me straighten you up a little bit. I don't know what you're doing sideways, but there. Okay, now break it up. Just like this. As good as you can, get it all broke up and Mix that all around in that water, okay? That's going to make us some real nice, fine ground beef when we get done. Okay, we're done with that part, pretty much. So, we'll be breaking it up further as we go. But for right now, good enough, I say. I say good enough. Let's go 
on to the next step, you and me, okay? Our next step is to light the burner. I bet you didn't see that one coming, huh? So we're going to put this one on high. And we're just going to start it up to cooking here. We're going to start it up to cooking. Okay, we're going to get some of this grease off of here, okay? How we do that is just like this. I always get a small pan such as that, and I just kind of pour out most of the grease and water, like so. Luckily, we haven't had any anybody jump out of the pan, and really. goody for us. Now, that means one thing, though. We have to add more water now. Because that water is not what we want. It's got way too much grease in it. We don't want grease. So we're going to get this one off of there. We're going to put this back. We're going to get out our trusty taco seasoning, okay? Now this is Kroger. Kroger taco seasoning. Sprinkle it in here, like so. All right, now we got that done. So now we're going to put the clip back on this here, like this, so that we can save it for later. Okay, we put these little clips on it, and then it stays good in your cupboard till you use it the next time. We're going to stir this all around so we get that there seasoning all well incorporated into this here meat. You know what I'm saying. Just like this. Puppy, what in the hell are you doing over there? Sounds like you're ripping the house apart. Yeah, or you can make your own seasoning of the meat the way you like it, okay? In other words, you don't have to do it exactly like I'm doing it. It just doesn't matter. Do it the way you like it. Sometimes I like the way I like it better than the way they do it. So, but this is our quick and easy way. Oh great, now he's pulling my electronics bag out from underneath the seat, which weighs more than he does. And exactly what what is it you wanted out of that bag there, Dweep Dwinkle, huh? Okay, we're going to get back to our cooking here. The Dwinkle Show, now available on Sparks TV Network. Yeah. Anyway, this is going to fry up as you'd expect. Okay. In fact, we want it to be just like this. So we're going to stop the cooking all of a sudden by pulling it off the heat or to shut off that burner. Okay, what we're making now <coughs> is our cheese con queso. Our chili con queso. Okay for the conquistador. One of the big elements in a conquistador is this. So I'm going to pull you a little bit higher here so you can see what we're doing. We're going to start by adding some salsa. That's way too much for one order, but whatever. Okay. Now we're going to relight the burner. I have to turn these off because they save on propane. And we're going to turn that down because it uh, really goes past the pan when you have it on high when the pan's that small. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to get out our magic cheese slicer, okay? And we're going to use regular Velveeta cheese like you buy in the loaf, okay? Now we got it about where I want it, like this, okay? 
going to put probably about four nice slices of cheese in here, just like this. Are you following this? Let's move you over a little bit where you can see better. Okay. Four good slices of Velveeta. But anyway, we're just going to mix this up. I need to get my camera up out of the heat zone here because it does get hot coming up over the edges there. So we're going to have to just do this away from it. And it will sit there and melt even further after you get it off the heat. So. Okay, it's pretty much time for us to build conquistadors. Now this is the easy part, really. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to take La Sierra, which is Mexico's number one refried beans. We're going to get out a spoon and we're going to put these in a bowl, okay? Something like this. We're only going to use about half of this can. Okay. Not even half of the can. About a third of the can would be fine. Yay, much. Okay. And we're going to take this. See if I can follow the bowl. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> We're going to put this in the new oven for exactly one minute. One minute. Okay, we're back. Hey, we're going to go ahead and build a conquistador now. You ready? Here we go. First thing is we're going to put this on our warm tortilla warmer. I'm going to back you up just a little bit. Get this all in frame for you. There you go. What you want to do now is, you want to get some of your refried beans that we had earlier. You just want to take, spread this across half of this, okay? I don't care which half, just half of it, okay? Yeah, all right. So just spread these nice and even as you can. Not doing very even, all right. Okay. <laughs> all right, now you want to take your beef, okay? And we're going to mix our salsa in here. Mmm, that looks good. Put your beef on it. Like I said, one quarter pound patty is going to make it perfect. Slide it out. Spread it about, just however you want it, okay. Now what you want to do, you want to take some of this, I'm using delicious Colby Jack, okay. It's one of my favorite for Mexican foods, because the Colby in it kind of stretches out a little bit like mozzarella does. It's got a great flavor besides. And everybody knows already what uh, Monterey Jack tastes like, so there you have it, and there it is. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to finish it over here. Okay, we're just going to slide this, if we can, slide it over onto the plate, however you can. I'm doing a poor job of it. There we go. Okay, we've got we've gotten over there now. What you want to do now is just put all your uh, vegetables on here. Once your beautifully shredded lettuce. There you go, right? Mmm, yeah, perfect. Perfect. Just that's perfect. Why does this generation I go perfect? Perfect. To tell them your name on the phone. Perfect. Perfect. Well, of course it's perfect. I've been saying it for 60 some odd years, you know? It's perfect. Everything's perfect. Well, so is this conquistador so far. 
thought he'd get mad. He wants, he wants food, but he can't have this because it's got onions on it, so he can't have any. All right, we got the lettuce, the tomato, and now we're going to put on the onion. Just like a subtle. You don't have to put onion on it if you don't want to. Another variation is put green chilies in here, too. You can do that. Now we're just going to fold this over, okay? It's just that easy. Now we're going to take our machine here. We're going to attempt to take our machine here. And we're just going to take our queso and spread it all over the top, like so. Alright. Mmm, yes. I let my queso get a little bit cool so it's kind of standing up a little bit, but anyway. Mmm. Then what you want to do is you want to take the rest of your refried beans that you had in the bowl, hot after one minute in the microwave. Remember that Mexico's favorite refried beans, La Sierra, okay? All right. And then what we're gonna do is, we're, okay, we're gonna take a little bit more of this Colby Jack and just put it over the top of our beans like so, okay? And there you have it. The Chef Clark Conquistador. It'll be delicious, you'll love it, honest. Give it a try right now. Go make one. It's easy. You probably got all the ingredients at home. So go make one and try it out. We're going to give it a shot right here. Oh, yeah. Yum. Mmm. That's good. Absolutely delicious. Mm-hmm. That's how you make a conquistador. Good luck and good eating.